Demon Slayer Season 2 is so much better than Season 1, it's not even fun. That's not to say that the first season was bad, it really wasn't. It was a very very good anime that while being completely a generic shounen for the most part, still stood out among many other similar anime. For me, it was the breakout anime of 2019 and that has to be credited to its good plot, great music and exceptional visuals. The first season was vibrant, smooth and as exciting to watch as anything else out in 2019. Add to that some good voice acting and some really really good background music and baby you've got to go. However, it wasn't perfect and I have some problems with it. A. Every character had one characteristic. Tanjiro is the ultimate best boy and Nezuko is the ultimate best girl. Zenitsu is a massive pussy who's secretly cool while Inosuke is a wild boy who shouts a lot and Muzan is, well, Michael Jackson. Basically, no one was a complex character, which was one of my biggest problems. And B, the series started off as a very serious show, and by the end, it was basically a comedy. I like the comedy aspect of it, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't even close to being perfect. Season 1 had its fair share of problems, but the second season does fix some of them. Season 2 isn't perfect, but it addresses some of my biggest complaints about the series. Spoilers about the Demon Slayer movie, but the death of the Flame Hashira has a massive impact on all three of the main characters, especially Tanjiro. Tanjiro's weakness haunts him, and the slow start of exploring his Hinokami Kagura abilities helps build his character. Zenitsu became much more than a scaredy cat, which is great, and although he was asleep half of the time, he was a badass character for most of the time. So no complaints there. Nezuko also got a simple character development where she grew more powerful and much more unhinged. Inosuke kinda stayed the same but you can't have everything. The animation quality also got better and the final fight between the Sound Hashira Tengen and the upper rank demon was very flashy indeed. I will say though that I enjoyed the animation and fights of this season more than most of season 1 and even the movie. I did like the fight in episode 19 of season 1 more than any other fight from this series yet. The blend of visuals and more importantly, the music makes it a mesmerizing experience and nothing else from this series has even come close. But still, the fights from this season are still matching the gold standard set by the first season and even exceeded them in a major way. Let's talk about the story in a much closer manner. So here is your official spoiler warning. I did think that the immediate impact of Rengoku's passing was done rather well, with the anime showing just how much it impacted the lives of the people who knew him. Although I would have liked it if they had extended the meeting of Tanjiro and Rengoku's family a little bit more, it was good nonetheless. And the whole entertainment arc was awesome. I loved the sound Hashira and his complex character. Him having three wives made no sense. And my reaction was just like Zenitsu. Anyway, I have to put over the demon in this arc a lot. Because Daki was a very cool and powerful antagonist until she wasn't. And the twist of the demon being two for the price of one is not something I expected. Daki's brother Kyotaro was a good pillar and was a tough son of a bitch to kill. I loved that Tengen beheaded Daki within seconds of meeting her but had to lose a limb and get poisoned while needing help from Tanjiro to kill her brother which conveyed just how powerful he was compared to the already overpowered Daki. And of course, the final fight between Tanjiro and Tengen versus Kyotaro was really cool and perhaps the best fight scene from the entire season. What I love the most about this season though was that it was much more serious, with some comedy sprinkled here and there. 
It displayed the impact of the death of Rengoku incredibly well, while also kept up the comedy aspect that so many people love about the series. Hopefully, the series pipe continues in the next season. But it's not all roses and sunshine. There are some stuff that's very annoying with this season. I grew really tired of Tanjiro announcing everyone's name whenever they entered the scene. That's one of my biggest pet peeves in anime and it annoyed me way too much during this season. Another thing that I didn't like at all is how close Tanjiro came to dying, not once but many many times. He almost died at the hands of Daki and almost died twice when facing Gyotaro before being shaped by the Hashira. If it happened once, that's okay. Twice or thrice? Come on now. One final nitpick of course, the punchline to some of the jokes is that the characters shout a lot. It's also one of my massive pet peeves about anime, so if they fix it, the next season of Demon Slayer might be even better than this one. So what's the final conclusion? Should you watch Demon Slayer season 2 or is it a hard pass? Personally, I think it is a must watch for anyone who enjoyed the previous season of Demon Slayer. It's not a 10 out of 10 anime. It can never be, since at its core, it's a generic shonen, but that doesn't mean it can't be great. The visuals of the season have gotten much better. The plot have gotten much more serious and the fights are as visually pleasing as ever. While it didn't meet the all-timer fight of Tanjiro vs Rui from season 1, the fights have met the incredibly high standards set by the previous season and even exceeded them. I will give this season of Demon Slayer a nice 9 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed. If you want me to review any anime, let me know in the comments. I think I might tackle the entirety of Attack on Titan next, from the first season to the last. If you like the video, please like and share the video and most importantly, subscribe to the channel as that will help out a lot. Thanks again. See you in the next one.